you may recall, I did an article called Missouri vs. the Tribal Nation. In this article, I talked about a stalker by the name of Mohammed Sisi. We'll just call him by his middle and la uh, last name. I can't even begin to pronounce his first name. And the big question has been, why is this guy being protected? Well, now we know. Uh, the Dalton family went to court today. Uh, there is a federal order by the uh, U.S. Marshals that had demanded that the child be returned, that Cassandra be returned to the family. Well, this order has been repeatedly denied and has been declined again today. The tribe, furthermore, has been declined. So now they're saying that the tribe, uh, they're still saying the tribe is not a legally recognized tribe and that the paperwork they did and submitted was incorrect. Okay, so the state has been shafting this family and the tribe for quite some time now since August. Now, the reason they are protecting the stalker who actually instigated this CPS case to begin with, he is an illegal immigrant. If the restraining order goes through, he gets deported back to his home country. Now, my question is, is why is the state of Missouri protecting an illegal immigrant, okay, the judge stated this man is an illegal immigrant. Why are they protecting this guy? They are giving him more protection than they are their own U.S. citizens, okay? Nothing against the illegals, but in cases like this, I have a huge problem. All right, this guy is a serial stalker. He has hounded and harassed not only Cassandra and her family, but her friends as well. In fact, uh, to my understanding, her boyfriend broke off, with, broke up with her because of this. Alright, so we got a girl that is no longer and has never been protected in any way, shape, or form since the time of being in CPS care. They are now talking about keeping her until February. Now the question is, is what is the tribe going to do? Well... More than likely, they're going to come out with some warrants, and they're going to be some arrests. Uh, right now, we're making a call to all activists. Anybody that is in the Missouri area, we're going to the Capitol tomorrow. Unfortunately, I won't be able to attend. I'm too far away to be able to attend. So, for those of you that are there, keep bringing the news. We're going to keep this stuff going. We're going to put them into a corner. Because what they're doing right now is they are digging a grave and I'm putting the nails in the coffin. Have a good night.